Potato King keeps on winning with Chosen Undead versus The Lost Dragonborn. Yes, I know the actual title of the episode is Skyrim vs. Dark Souls, but that's stupid, and the order is scuffed on the thumbnail, so suck it up. Once again, Liam blesses us with an episode that he really wanted to do. But is it any good? Well, let's find out. Look, I'm terrible at intros, so let's just get straight to the point. Starting off with the analysis, I think it's pretty good. I do have a few issues with it, namely scaling Chosen Undead to ba the Bearer of the Curse and the Champion of Ash. From what the Dark Souls experts have told me, <coughs> Potato King, <coughs> Chosen Undead really shouldn't scale to these two, but whatever. The rest of it is it's pretty good. And they got a roll joke in there, which is just... just beautiful. <laughs> Delva's analysis was also pretty good. It starts off with a reference to Macho Man Randy Savage, and that is just peak fiction right there. Overall, pretty solid. Also, Alduin vs. Calamity Ganon when? The fight, meanwhile... I'm not gonna sugarcoat it, fellas. Anything Liam wants to do turns into gold. I am convinced he has some sort of Midas touch when it comes to certain ideas. Granted, there are some things I don't like. For example, Dova's model looks pretty weird, the rolling scene has some very noticeable jank, and the starting Fusro Da is very weak sauce. Instead of it being a powerful roar, it's more like a mild yell. Not only that, but the way it's said just doesn't sit well for me. Personally, I think a shout like this, <laughs> instead of this, would sound way better. The da part should be the loudest of them all. Also, Dova says it way too quickly. Where's the build up? But, despite those very noticeable problems, this opening is still fantastic. The narration in the opening leading onto this raw as hell shot of Chosen Undead sitting in front of a bonfire as we see a reflection of Dovakin in his helmet as the harsh orange tint of the bonfire colors the edge of Chosen Undead's face mask is just so cool. And while the rolling scene is really janky, seriously, Dova is literally just gliding across the floor, <laughs> it's still a funny visual gag and, then, and a neat reference to Dark Souls' combat. We get this really nice tracking shot of Smug's hammer hitting Dova far away, which leads into Undead taking an arrow to the knee. <laughs> this episode somehow manages to balance serious moments and comedic moments really well, and I'm all for it. <laughs> and I love how you can even hear Chosen Undead grunt in mild pain before the camera pans down to see the arrow. Chosen Undead then uses Goff's Great Bow, but Dova slows down time with one of his shouts and steals Chosen Undead's soul using Azura's Star. At least I think that's what it is. Chosen Undead then pulls a Nuna Reverse and says, Surprise, bitch, I'm back, and pulls out a mace. I can't remember what it's called, call me some slack. Dova then shoots fire at him, but Undead gets in a quick combo on Dova, which is really well animated, as each swing feels like there's effort put into it. Then Dova summons a goddamn dragon to aid him in battle, and it even manages to kill Chosen Undead. But once again, Chosen Undead ain't finished. He shoots a dying arrow through the dragon's mouth as Dovakin uses what I can only assume is lightning magic, while Undead uses what I can only assume are literal thunder spears. Eat your heart out, Mikasa. <laughs> Chosen Undead then pulls out the Moonlight Greatsword and does this cool ass pose as Dova pulls out the Dawnbreaker. Then we get this awesome establishing shot of the two using their celestial weaponry ready to throw down. And man, the Build up before they clash is so good. The music getting more and more intense as the two running towards each other, plus the clash and subsequent fight are really well animated. Chosen Undead is a lot more sluggish as his weapon requires two hands to hold on, but his strikes are shown to be much more powerful. Meanwhile, Dovakin is a lot quicker as he only needs one hand to use his weapon, but his strikes are less powerful. And the moment where Dova tries to use the Fusro Da again, but is immediately cut off as Chosen Undead uses the Vow of Silence and nullifies all the sound in the area is a great show of strategy. Hell, even the music is nullified, that's a really cool attention to detail. But when Chosen Undead is stabbed by the Dawnbreaker, 
He just pulls a kid at you and tries to choke Dova. But honestly, it is done much better here than it is than it was in Dragon's Order versus Kid at You. And Chosen Undead's Prepare to Die is legitimately chilling. I love how raspy his voice is. It really gets the gives you the idea that he is undead. He's actually not living, and he hasn't used his vocal cords in a while. And the ending to the fight is just plain awesome, where Undead tries to nuke Dova with the bonfire, but Dova uses one last Fusro Da, which is a little better, but I feel like a pause between the Ro and the Da would have made it feel more impactful. <laughs> Y'all really thought I was done with that joke. <laughs> nope! I promise this is the last one, but come on, you could you, you, you... There's no way you came into this video not expecting a you died meme every time Chosen Undead died in this video. Like, that's so obvious. I was obviously gonna do that. Oh, and the Chaos Green already makes a you died joke. They beat me by one day. Honestly, I should have seen this coming. Looks like I was the fool this entire time. Anyway, I like how Boomstick even comments on how hard the boss is, which kind of leads me to believe that the animation was just Dark Souls gameplay from Boomstick as he eventually rage quits because he keeps dying. <laughs> just a thought. <laughs> just, it's, it's just a funny thought. Now, as the, for the conclusion, it's not really bad per se, but... There is one thing I feel I should mention, and it's something that Potato King brought up. Wow, this is like, what, the fourth time he's being mentioned in this video? Good lord. Bro keeps getting way too many W's this year. Uh, anyway. The idea of the Chosen Undead giving up and going hollow. Now, according to him, it isn't wrong per se, but the Chosen Undead is supposed to embody the idea of never giving up. So, for one of their main arguments being... Oh, Chosen Undead will give up eventually. Yeah, that is one way I can definitely see making the Dark Souls fandom mad. Again, it isn't wrong per se, but I can see how it would rub someone the wrong way. Anyway, going back to the positives, I feel like I should br bring up the voice acting. Um, Tom Shulk does a fantastic job as both narrators. I think their names are Darkstalker Koth and Kingseeker Frompt. I am very sorry if I butchered those names to any, like, Dark Souls or Elder Scrolls fan, uh, fandom fans out there. Yeah, I'm just stumbling over my words. <laughs> uh, but they sound really cool, and I really like them. I honestly prefer these guys over the narrator in Heracles vs. Wukong. I just think they're way cooler and better. Uh, and hell, hey, they even mentioned, uh, Heracles and Wukong in this episode. What a surprise. And... Liam? He did Chosen Undead's voice? Damn. Bro is multi-talented. Uh, all joking aside, Liam killed it in this episode. I thought he was really cool as the Chosen Undead uh, for what little lines he had. But again, he was still really cool, and I hope he does more voice acting in the future because he is really good at it, honestly. Another thing I really like in this episode? The track. Fireborn is phenomenal, and it's probably my favorite track so far of the season. It just sucks that I could not be a part of it, because I have a shit microphone. <laughs> but hopefully one day when another opportunity like this passes me by, when I have a better microphone, I will be ready to record and sing my heart out, despite me not having... I mean, I don't have a bad singing voice, but I wouldn't call it good either. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, it was a really good track. I really enjoyed it. Brandon killed it, as did the Death Battle fan, cost, fan choir. Frick. Uh, yeah, track was awesome. As for the next time, I really have no opinion on this, as I am not a fan of either series. But I am inter interested to learn about these series. Series. But once again... It is another Potato King W. Man, when is it going to be my turn? Uh, yeah, this doesn't really... I'm not really interested, uh, but I am excited to see what they do. I do know a bit about Killua. I don't know how to pronounce his name. I do know that he's, like, 
lightning and stuff, and apparently so is Misaka. I really hope I didn't just say... I really hope I actually said the right name, because I keep getting confused if, if, if it's Mikasa or Misaka. Like, it is so confusing. But, uh, yeah, this is, um... Not really a matchup I'm interested in, but I definitely can't wait to see where it goes. But yeah, if you couldn't tell, I, I fucking adore this episode, man. It may not be one I'm overly attached to, and it isn't short of issues, but in my opinion, the positives far outweigh the negatives. So with all that in mind, I'd give this episode a 9 out of 10. I really enjoyed it that much. Hell, I might even go pick up a Skyrim on the Switch one day. Um, don't know if it'll run like ass because the Switch has got the freaking processing power of a paperweight, but... <laughs> the hell, I'll give it a shot. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed my review of Chosen Undead vs. Dova King. I refuse to call it Sky uh, Skyrim vs. Dark Souls. Um, and if you did, why not drop a like on this video? And subscribe while you're at it. Hey, we are getting close to 1,200 subscribers. So please subscribe. That will make my Christmas wish come true. <laughs> I'm just rambling on at this point. I'm sorry. Uh, comment down below your thoughts on this episode. I love reading your comments. Uh, and don't forget to check out Lucara Boy's review as well as our reaction to the episode in the description below. And follow me on Twitter and Instagram while you're at it. And while you're following me, go follow Potato King as well. I know he's been getting nothing but dubs this season, but hey, he's a cool dude and he deserves it. With all that in mind, I will see you for my next video, which is going to be very, very special. Bye-bye!